we're in a place right now where it is really easy to put out all of our fears and our anxiety and shoot that toward other people and projects that we disagree with. I think that affordable housing can absolutely uh, come to Falls Village, needs to come to Falls Village, and Falls Village will be better for it. You know, there's a lot in the pot on this one, and uh, we have not been able to have uh, our voices heard. The housing plan itself is not what has divided the town. To my mind, it is the spreading of disinformation about this housing plan that has divided the town. Right now, we are in the River Road site for um, Falls Village Housing Trust's affordable housing development. And we have just walked in from the road. This uh, is part of the flat area where the houses will be built. What we're talking about here for, for the Falls Village Housing Trust isn't low income housing, it's affordable housing. It's so that a mother who is a single mom can be living with her child and be able to pay the rent and not be month to month and trying to get to that next paycheck just to get food on the table. When there's a lack of diversity in a town, it decreases the health of the town. We live in a town that has these beautiful historic homes. Um, they tend to be three bedrooms and up, so consequently there isn't always places for uh, a senior or a single person. So our current plan is 16 rental units. The units range in size from one bedroom to three. I'm a neighbor to the proposed project. Uh, we uh, were concerned uh, uh, about it because it will change our neighborhood so much. Yes, you know, people need places to live. We completely, we are for affordable housing. I think you see somebody who lives across the street and they don't want to have affordable housing placed right next to them. And they're always asking me, would you want this next door to you? And my response is, I live next door to a bunch of rentals right now, and I actually don't have an issue with any of that. Personally, I believe that more people support this than oppose it. But the folks that oppose it are um, very passionate and um, like to write letters to the local newspaper and speak out at public meetings. We've been silenced. We have not been included in the process. We wanted to have a voice in it. Um, we were denied a town meeting. We had asked for a a town vote, and none of those things were permitted by our, by our town officials. My name is uh, Henry Todd, and I'm the first selectman of Falls Village. It was done without objection. We, a public hearing was held. Nobody attended the public hearing. It wasn't of interest to anybody until there was actually started to be a plan put in place. Uh, it's near a slope. It has heavy flooding in the spring. There are many reasons why it's not a great site. But there are a lot of good sites right here in town that are economically better for our town. The village itself is a historical district. There's not suitable land around there. Let me tell you, we looked at every piece of available land around here. It was either in the floodplain or it just, you know, frankly couldn't be built on. We have difficulty in this area finding people who will accept jobs at Sharon Hospital or at the high school when there is no close by affordable place for them to live. There hasn't been a place for us to come together. And that is why a small problem grows into an enormous problem. Yeah, I, I believe that dialogue is the, is the ultimate weapon for, for our freedom and democracy. I think we all, we should all be heard. Yes, we should be heard. Um, that's the way it works. Uh, we have not been heard. I personally would love to see uh, a third party professional come in and host a series of community conversations. We could have Zoom meetings. We could have community meetings on greens. We could meet at the firehouse. We could do charrettes. I'm a member of the Falls Village Affordable Housing Task Force 
which is a new endeavor by the state to get a better understanding of what the town wants. I think when the affordable housing uh, plan comes out, we can get the whole community together. We need to broaden our perspectives, especially if we want this town to grow and, and not stagnate and get, and we don't want our school to close. We don't want our downtown to be dead. We want to afford the opportunity for our town to flourish. And really, that's what this is about, is providing opportunity for our town and for individuals in our community to like be here and enjoy and appreciate this amazing, amazing place. Thank you.